Hey everybody, quick video today. Uh, so yesterday, um, I had the pleasure of playing the national anthem, um, you know, solo saxophone for a girls basketball game uh, here where I work. Um, and the girls won, by the way, played a great game. But I want to talk to you about something that happened. It was interesting, you know, as I get older and I'm playing more, and this has happened to me throughout my life, but I don't know, maybe it's happened to you too. You get in the middle of something and then you hear an inner voice. Like this inner voice starts talking to you while you're in the middle of playing. And it happened yesterday as I'm playing a Star Spangled Banner, you know, the solo saxophone thing. Uh, you're out there kind of hanging out by yourself and I really need to know the Star Spangled Banner because I don't want to mess that up. And so I'm halfway through it and I get this voice in my brain that says, Psst, don't mess up. A lot of people are watching. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Man, that's a, like a strong voice to hear while you're playing. And so I was able to tell my inner voice to shut up. But the only because, and here's the whole point of this, you can tell your inner voice to shut up if you are so confident that you don't have to rely just on your ear when you're playing. What I mean is, if I just rely on my ear and my inner voice tells me, don't mess up, well, if I give in to that thought, I now can question what my ear is saying the next interval is, and I might make a wrong choice. Whereas I can tell the inner voice, no, 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 just be quiet, I got this, because I know what the next note is. Not because I've memorized it, so to speak, um, like from a paper, like a photographic kind of memory thing, but because I know theoretically the next number. Uh, like, you know, the, the end of it, five, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, where does it go from there? One, two, three, four, two, one. Like, I know it because of numbers. Now, if you don't want to use numbers, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But I was able to rely on what I know theoretically to shut the inner voice off. So uh, maybe a little bit of encouragement to you that if you are just relying on your ear in certain circumstances, the best way to shut the inner voice off, that inner voice, which by the way, always lies to you. Your inner voice is always gonna give you lies that you're not good enough, you don't know this well enough, you stink, stop messing up, you're gonna mess up. That's what the inner voice says. It just always breeds this um, self-doubt. So I can tell it to be quiet because I put the work in and know theoretically what it is I'm playing so that I don't just have to rely on my ear. Now, is ear the most important? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, uh, more knowledge is really good. So maybe that will help some of you. All right, happy practicing. I got my horn, I'm getting ready to go.